Live, local, late breaking. This is WPBF 25 News. In our forecasting our future coverage, methane is an extremely potent greenhouse gas. Mm -hmm. It's expected to cause half of the global warming in the next two decades. And according to scientists, a lot of it comes from cows of all things. Yeah, there's been a rise in turning farm waste mm -hmm. into energy. Angela Rozier traveled to a local dairy farm at the forefront of a renewable industry. If anyone is going to save the world, it's the cow. It's the cows. It's the cows. Yep, for sure. In these Okeechobee cow fields, this dairy farm is working on the environment. We want to reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible. They're converting methane from cow manure into natural gas. So this is a pit here, and we basically take the manure from the, the farms, from the cows, and we're letting that digest, and the microbes in the manure are going to produce methane, and that's what we're really after, is harvesting that methane from the manure. Cole Verano is a University of Florida student majoring in agriculture sustainability. His father manages the farm. This over here, we have the, the gas methane, which is then going to be compressed and turned into a liquid so it could be pumped into the pipeline. The Larson family has partnered with Brightmark Energy, and according to its website, the gas will be delivered into the local interstate gas pipeline system. The Larson family has been in the dairy farm business for decades, and they continue to evolve when it comes to technology. And this is the next step. My great-grandfather, Red Larson, uh, started dairy farming in the 1970s. The Larson family has been focusing on ways to save the planet long before they decided to build methane digesters. One way, using cottonseed from Georgia for feed, a byproduct that if not used, could end up in a landfill. That's a piece of cottonseed, so what's in our clothes, the part that cannot be used, uh, it's a great source of fiber to cows. Um, I think this is another piece of citrus. You guys don't throw away anything. Right. They, it's totally recycled. The dairy district as a whole has committed to being carbon neutral by 2050. Farmers tell me the methane that's captured and converted into natural gas here in Okeechobee is their way to help make that happen. There'll be a total of four methane digesters. Each one of them will be at a dairy farm with somewhere around 2,000 cows, and each digester will have enough power eventually to power um, the equivalent of about 1,000 homes each. Whoa, a thousand homes each? That's a lot of energy that they produce, so it might look like a waste product to us, but it's pretty valuable when we turn it into methane. In Okeechobee County, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News. Yeah, cool stuff. No sure exact is. completion date just yet, but they're doing mm. test runs right now. We'll I'm see. so impressed, too, with that young man, Cole, who explained it so well. Chris, you grew up on a farm, on a ranch. I do have a so. little funny story again because, you know, growing up on a ranch, it, being out there, if we can chit chat again, oh, I wish we had the two box up, but I was just going to say, uh, my grandpa used to say, hey, you know, you kick those around, you know, when you're out there on the ranch, but they're actually good fertilizer. Yeah. Oh, so. All right. They Anywho, are. we'll good tell compost. another story another day. <laughs>